When my next guest learned that one of her students was being put back into foster care, she took matters into her own hands and made her student her son. And here... <laughs> here to tell us more, please welcome Dr. Benny and Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, how you doing, man? Doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> well, uh, listen, you've been in foster care since you were nine years old. Tell me how difficult that's been for you. It's been, it's been really hard. Um, I've been in, what, four, four different foster homes since from nine years old to 15. And even before that, I've been tossed and turned between my grandmother and my biological mother. So it's been up and down really hard. And, and how old are you now? 16. 16. Okay, you ended up in trouble uh, at your foster home. What happened? I was in school, hanging out, hanging out with the wrong crowd. Got, got in trouble. Got sent to the uh, alternative school where I met my mom. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like, why am I here? This, this is not me. I don't deserve to be here. But it turned out to be a great thing while I was there. <laughs> yeah. so. Dr. Benny, let okay. me ask you this. What, what did you think of Anthony when you first met him? Well, actually, Anthony was one of the model students. He was an ideal student. He tried hard to please me, all the other staff. He, he worked really hard at uh, being a good kid. Uh, so that's why when I found out I was, he's about to age out and go to a group home, I was, something had to be done. <laughs> so, Anthony, you asked something special of your teacher, Dr. Benny. What was that? I just flat out said it. <laughs> I like would you adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> at first, we were, um, me and a couple other kid students were at a, around her desk talking, and, you know, just talking about, oh, you can take me home, or you can take me home. And I was like, no, no, you can take me home, like, for real, for real. Like, <laughs> see, I'm, see, I'm serious, you can take me home. And um, she was like, I'm sure your parents are doing the best that they can do. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm actually a foster kid, I've been in foster care, for ever since I was nine years old, I just <laughs> gave her the whole tea. So after that, she was like, okay, well, <laughs> if you finish this assignment, <laughs> then we'll talk about it. That was one of the most fastest assignments <laughs> I ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the next day, uh, that's when the process started. And everything since then, it's been nothing but God. So. Yeah. Dr. Benny, how, how did you feel when Anthony asked you to adopt him? Well, at, at first, when he asked me, I was, no, I gave him my spiel that I give all the kids when they say, oh, take me home, take care of me, you know, treat your parents the way you treat me and everything will be okay at home. So then he explained it to me and I said, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, it was something that he, when he was leaving, because he got out of our, our school. Our school is only for so many days. I got on a good behavior. He got on, a good, on good behavior. So he was leaving. And when he was leaving, he said, don't forget to pursue it. And I said, I will. Um, and then um, <laughs> he said, uh, make sure you do it. And I said, <laughs> I said, I promise you, I said, and just remember, I'll always be here. So I just kind of left it at that because the only thing I knew about adoption was what I had seen on TV. And I didn't think that I could, but then I got a response from the information I put in the system. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I, maybe I can do this. <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked that they even responded to my request. Wow. <laughs> Did you, have, did you have kids already of your own? No, I, but I, I have tons of godchildren. I, I've helped, take, helped my friends take care of their kids for years. So, Anthony, you <laughs> spent your first few holidays as a family. How'd, how'd that feel for you? It, it feels amazing. Just to have the, the love and support, someone to talk to. Someone to argue with. <laughs> someone to argue with. <laughs> so, there's someone I can just share my heart with, my love with. So, it, it, it's great. Let me say this. This type of admiration <laughs> and respect from a young male to a female that's not his mother, 
that's, you got something really Thank special you. there. Thank you. Thank you. You know something? Uh, we think your story is absolutely amazing. So we want to uh, send you guys on a six night, seven day family trip to the Grand at Moon Palace in Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, you finna be ballin', boy. <laughs> you going to Cancun. You gotta experience... Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You gotta experience all the cool and luxury accommodations. Nine outdoor swimming pools. We got an elaborate beach club. We got a water park. We got a six-lane bowling alley. We got 17 food and beverage outlet. This trip is valued at over $10,000. We wish you the best of luck and enjoy your first family vacation on us. I want to tell you a story about a sheriff's uh, deputy named Scott Bass. He's a true hero who went that extra mile to help a woman to, who he'd never met. Now, Scott noticed a woman walking along the road every week, rain or shine, so he had to check it out. Here's what happened. Take a look. She would come down from here and just keep walking and get all the way down felt a hardship for her, because I understand that, you know, you don't see a lot of people here that, no matter what the weather conditions, that they're going to walk X amount of hours to work, then stand up for another eight or nine hours. If you want to work, you'll find your way to work. But if you don't want to work, hey, I can't help you. You got to give us legs, so that's one way of transportation. All right, everybody. Uh Please welcome Sergeant Scott Bass of the Nash County Sheriff's Department in North Carolina. And also, please welcome Jaleesa. All right, it's a pleasure to meet both of y'all. When I get into this story, they're not going to believe this. Scott, what ran through your mind when you saw Jaleesa walking in the middle of the night in the freezing cold? Uh, it was about 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, getting near the end of my shift, and I saw her leaving the uh, city side, going into the county. Uh, she had her work uniform on. It was raining. It was cold. So I stopped to check on her, and uh, she told me she was going to work and offered her a ride because uh, she had quite a few miles to go before she got to work. She walks about six to seven miles one way to go to work. Jaleesa, why were you walking to work? I was looking for a job, and I applied for several Bojangles. And one first from my house called me first. And since they hired me first, I said, OK, I'll work at this one. And I will, will walk it. So I had no other way to get out there. Wow. Now, Scott, besides offering Jaleesa rides, you also surprised her with a gift. Tell, tell us what that was. We've been knowing each other for about, a, what, a year and a half now? Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to pick her up when I can, if I could. And I tell my guys to be in the area if they were, if they were able to, to help give her a ride. And uh, I wanted to do something more for her. So the next day, I called Walmart, which was in the area, and told them uh, if they could work with me on maybe getting her a bicycle to help turn a two-hour walk into a 30-minute walk. They gave us a nice beach cruiser. It had gears on it. And hopefully it could... Now, Jaleesa, do you get all four seasons in North Carolina? Yes, we definitely do. And it don't matter. No, you walk. No, it don't matter. No. Rain, sleet, shine. I'll still walk. How am I supposed to pay my bills? OK, well, let me ask you this. How, how's the bike working out for you? It's working out. I'm still trying to learn how to ride it without wobbling or falling off of it. Oh, you never learned how to ride a bike? Never in my life. But I'm determined you to learn. You didn't know that, did you, Scott? No, sir. Uh, I've actually checked on her several times, you know, try to encourage her to, you know, keep practicing. Like I said, it can turn a two-hour walk into a 30-minute ride. And oh. she, she walks two hours to work, and then she's got to stand up for eight hours. I know what it's like to kind of have to, you know, work that hard. You know, yeah. you think about it, you wake up and you're tired, and some days people say, we don't want to go to work. And she probably says it, too, and then takes a two-hour walk to work. So I just kind of wanted to help her out. So, let me ask you this, Lee. How's the job going at Bojangles? After the news footage and being told that I was going to be on your show, they offered me a promotion and a, a new store. You... <laughs> this, this, this guy here, Scott, this, this, this deputy sheriff, you know, with all the negative stories you hear about police officers out there, men and women, I bought probably six of these stories 
on this show because the majority of police uh, men and women are really good people. And, and they really are just trying to serve their community. And this guy, Scott, you're a true inspiration for taking time out of your day to help a person in need. I just think that's absolutely incredible. Angelisa, you are a true example of determination. We know you work hard, and we know that you deserve a little extra help. On behalf of the show, we're gonna be giving you $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not all. I reached out to some friends at uh, Capital Ford in uh, Rocky Mount, North Carolina, because that's where you're from. And they heard about your story. So they want to make sure that you never have to walk in the rain again. So they're giving you a brand new 2018 Ford Fiesta SE. Take a look over there. Yeah. You got a car. Come on, come on over here to the car. Scott, come on over here with it. Take her on over, buddy. Yeah, go and get in, Jaleesa. Thank you for doing this for her. No, man, <laughs> thank you. Wasn't for you, we wouldn't know nothing about this. Thanks to all the police over in Rocky Mount, too, for helping out. Jaleesa, you got a brand new car, girl. Stay in there. You got to see how that feel. We'll be right back. Jaleesa got a car. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.